This is the standard tool post that came with the Grizzly G0752Z. And in this video, I'm going to be replacing it to a quick change tool post. And it's not quite as simple as just buying a quick change tool post and slapping it on here. You've got the, the tool post right here that is what centers everything. And then there's this T-nut that goes inside of the compound slide here. And we're going to need to make a new one of these to fit the new quick change that we got. Here's the new tool post and the T-nut the here that it comes with is really just a piece of stock. It has the precision holes here that line up with the holes on the tool post. So you can put pins in there and it'll lock itself in place. But this threads right into that center hole and then this goes into that T-slot. So we need to machine this so it fits that T-slot. I'll be using a Kenametal Harvey one to cut out the T-slot shape on this Harbor Freight mill. To figure out how much material I needed to remove off of this block, because it's a little bit thick, what I did is I measured the old T-slot, which was 0.39, and the new block here, which is 0.5. So I need to take off 111 thousandths. We just finished the final pass on the thickness. The set dimension I wanted to get this at was 0.39, and we're averaging about 3.85. So that's 5 thousandths undersized, which is perfect. After every operation, you always want to deburr the part. Next operation is going to be getting the width down correctly, and I've scribed a line on both sides. This uh, the block that came with the tool post is an eighth inch bigger than the one that came with the lathe. So I'm going to take off a sixteenth from each side. I'll deburr this side and do the next. These Harvey end mills do great work, especially on a mill like this where the rigidity isn't in its strongest capability and it still leaves a really good surface finish. Our model T-nut is about one inch, 378. What we're working on right now is about one inch, 380. So that's basically exactly the same. What I do a lot of times, and what's I find a little bit more convenient than using like a blue dicum to scribe your lines, which sometimes isn't readily available, I just use a Sharpie, blue Sharpie, black Sharpie, and I use that ink to create the paint, and then I'm able to just use my calipers to scribe the line. And that's a really fast way to get an easy target of where you want to mill to. The third and final operation is gonna be the T-slot right here. So I'm just gonna put it in the vise this way, and then in one or two passes, cut that slot in the corner. All right, I just finished the final pass. Now we'll deburr it and do a test fit. We'll give this a test fit. That is really nice. The whew, Yeah, there's not much back and forth wobble at all. Just a few thou, which is fine. Up and down a little bit, but everything's gonna be under pressure. When this tool post is sitting on here, the threads are gonna be pulling up with a whole lot of pressure. So if this had 10 thousandths of wobble, that actually wouldn't be that big of a deal. Now we'll put this in place. Snug this in place. Let's drop a tool in here. Oh, that's really nice. All the tools work great except for this tool. This is the turning facing tool. And the problem is it's too high. Now, typically we'd just be able to adjust the nut here on the interface, the tool holder that holds the tool. And you can adjust your height this way. But this all the way maxed out doesn't actually go low enough to center this. And that's because it actually starts to hit the compound slide here. It's as low as it can go. So in order to fix that, what I'm probably gonna need to do is grind a little bit off of the bottom of the tool here. It's gonna sacrifice a little bit of rigidity, but then I'll actually be able to use it to cut. All the other tools work fine. It's just this turning tool, like the boring bars and some of the other ones we've got. Those aren't a problem. It's just the tool that's in this tool holder. So. If you're gonna be upgrading to a quick change tool post, keep that in mind that if you get a tool like this one, maybe where the point of it is really high up there, that could be a problem you run into. 